today's tutorial, we're going to be adding wetness and caustics decals to our stream water. If you'll recall in last week's tutorial, we created this really nice stream water shader and we added it to our level. But the problem that we have is that the water doesn't feel like it's in the level. It feels like it's there, but it's not really contacting the objects around it. It's it's not making anything wet and it doesn't feel like it fits really well in the environment. If we take a look at our reference images from Pure Ref, you can see that the water here is making the rocks in the stream look wet and it's kind of bubbling around them and it, it's making the dirt and the mud underneath it wet and it really feels like it belongs in the environment. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna to be taking our stream that currently looks like this and making it look like this instead. So you can see that our water is uh, making everything look wet and we also have these caustic patterns. And the way that we're gonna achieve that is by using decals. So let's come on over here to our little construction yard area and we have our test plane. And you can see that I've created a little sample decal here and I'm gonna delete that one and create a new one so that you can see how it's done. So here is our place actors window. And I'm just gonna type decal to create a new decal and I'm gonna drag that out and place it in my level. And you can see that it creates this kind of a green box that also extends underneath the plane. And by default, it just projects this white pattern uh, on, the, on whatever intersects it. Uh, but instead of this white pattern, we are going to use our wetness decal. So for the material, I'm just gonna type wetness and you can see that I have this material created called water wetness decal. So I'm gonna pick that. And now right away you can see that I have this uh, decal projected on my plane that looks wet. It's more reflective and it's darker and it has all the properties of uh, of wetness. So what we need to go over next is how to create this water wetness decal material. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now the nice thing about this material is it's one of the very simplest materials that there is to make. So we'll come on over here to the root and you can see that for material, the material settings on my root, uh, I have it set to deferred decal translucent, uh, debuffer translucent color roughness. And then I have my shading model set to unlit. And with these settings here and with the way that we have our shader set up, this is one of the cheapest materials that you can possibly make. It's not doing any lighting. It's not doing any texture lookups. And the math that we're doing here is just very simple multiplies. And that means this decal is something that you can put all over your level and it won't cost very much, assuming you make the decal volumes fit really nicely around the area that you're placing them in. And I'll go over that in a, a little bit. But I wanna go over what this uh, material is doing, first of all. So for a base color, you can see that we've got a value of zero. For our specular, a value of 0 0.2. And that's because the specular of water is less than 0.5. So we're actually darkening the specular. And then for roughness, I have a value of zero. And that's because uh, objects that are wet that have water sitting on them use the roughness of water, which is perfectly smooth. And that's how we get nice reflections uh, from things that are wet. And then for opacity, I have a value of 0 0.5 or 0 0.7. And I'm using this value so that some of the base material still shows through. If I, if I were to set this opacity to a value of one, let's just go ahead and do that and I'll show you what happens. Now it just creates this horrible looking dark spot and it doesn't look wet. It looks more like it's black spray paint or something. And so we're gonna come back here to our wetness decal and set it at a value of 0.7. All right, and now we can go over this rounded edge mask. And what this does is if we look at our decal here, you can see that the edges are kind of round 
and there's some nice slow fall off around the edges. And that's done by, we take our texture coordinates and that's the X and the Y coordinate of the decal. And we invert it so that now we have one minus and then we multiply those two values together. And what this does is around the edges of the decal, we have a value of zero. And then in the middle of the decal, we have a value of 0 0.25. Then we take both the uh, U coordinate and the V coordinate from the R and G channels and multiply them together. And then multiply them together again, just to square them. And then we multiply that by a value of 10,000. And this value is what determines uh, how close to the edge the mask is getting. Let's just set this value to something a bit lower, like uh, let's let's try 2000. And I'll show you what that does, just so you can understand what this parameter is doing. So you can see that our fall off is much softer now. Uh, let's set it to like a value of 500. And you can see that it's it's a circle now and it doesn't actually go all the way to the edges. So if you want a smoother, easier fall off, you can put a smaller value here. And if you want the value to go, or if you want the decal to go closer to the edges, uh, I like to use a value of 10,000. Uh, so you can get a little bit sharper edge. There's still some nice soft fall off, um, but it does pretty much go to the edge of the decal. Then we saturate our value and multiply it by our overall opacity of 0.7. Now the really nice thing about these decals is it does have this rounded edge fall off and it also has a nice fade out at the top and the bottom so there aren't any hard edges anywhere. You can rotate these decals, uh, you can scale them and uh, it'll just make whatever you place it on look like it's wet. And so that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to go ahead and place these decals all around the river and then I'll come back and show you what I did. All right, I've placed my decals and I have one selected here that I wanna show you as an example. So you can see as I move this decal up and down, uh, you can see that it's affecting more or less of the area. So if I move it all the way down under the ground, uh, it's not affecting anything. And you can see that the stream bed looks like it's dry, but then I can make it move up and it affects the objects and uh, makes, makes everything look wet. And that really helps to make the stream feel like uh, it's sitting in the environment and influencing things uh, rather than being disconnected from it. Now, one thing that you may notice is that everything has this sort of uh, blue halo. You can see that all the rocks and, and uh, the logs and things have this blue halo around them. And that's because it's reflecting the sky without any local shadowing. And the reason that that's happening is because I haven't added in the lighting for the level yet, and I haven't created my reflection volumes. So you can see how everything kind of has this blue edging around it. And that's gonna go away when I uh, do the tutorial video on lighting, and I put in reflection volumes and bake those, we'll actually get much more accurate reflections uh, and that blue halo around things will glow, go away. The reason that we're getting that is because uh, I've increased the reflectiveness of everything, uh, but I haven't created a good reflective environment for it to reflect. Uh, just so you can see what's happening, I'm gonna select my wetness decal again, and we'll come up here under the lit menu, and I'm gonna show you a couple of the buffer visualizations. First, let's take a look at the roughness. And you can see that the decal is, is making everything uh, nice and smooth. Uh, because instead of the roughness values that used to be there, those roughness values are being combined uh, with the decal roughness, which is zero. So it's kind of darkening the roughness uh, based on where I've placed these decals. And as I look up the river, uh, you can see that these decal volumes are placed all along the river. And because everything is wet, it's making everything look more smooth, which is exactly the effect that I'm going for. Let's take a look at the specular. 
And you can see that the decal volumes are also darkening the specular just a little bit, just like wetness actually would. And then if we take a look at the base color, you can see that the water, as things, as the water soaks into things, it makes the the albedo or the base color a little bit darker on all of our objects, and that's just the effect that we're looking for to make things look wet. Okay, the other decal that I want to show you today is uh, our caustic patterns. And you can see here, I've got my wetness decals in the wetness folder, and I've got my caustics decals in a caustics folder. I like to keep things in folders like this, foliage, logs, rocks, trees, water, just to keep things organized so that I don't have one gigantic flat list, um, but I can easily get to the items that I'm looking for. So if I turn on my caustics pattern, you can see that what this is, is it's a decal that has uh, these caustics as if the light were shining through the water and getting uh, refracted by the ripples on the surface of the water and those refractive patterns are getting projected uh, on the rocks and on the the bottom underneath the water so you can see that this uh, caustics decal is creating those really nice refractive patterns and if I pick this decal, I can move it around as well. So you can see what it's doing. So inside the decal box, it's creating these caustic refractive patterns. And I can show you the material for the water caustics decal as well. This one's a bit more complicated, but the nice thing about this one is that I've already created a video that explains this whole thing back when I was showing how to create my water shader. So if you want an in-depth description of how to create these caustic patterns decals, you can click on this card right here and that will take you right to that uh, tutorial where I go over how to create uh, this nice caustic material and caustic decals. Okay, so we created a wetness decal that you can put anywhere in your level to make things look wet. This is a really useful level uh, decal, and it's also super cheap because it's not doing any lighting or texture samples. And then we've got our caustic patterns. This one's a little more expensive because it is doing a couple of texture samples, but still not too bad. And so let's take one final look at our forest level here. I'm just gonna hit play so we can run around with our mannequin character and show you what we've achieved today. So you can see that our area, our rocks look kind of wet. And you can see the caustic patterns projected by the surface of the water underneath uh, to the bottom and to the rocks that are in the water. So pretty cool. We managed to make our water feel a little bit more uh, alive and as it it's part of the environment and its influence is is felt on the rocks and the bottom of the stream uh, as it flows through the level. So, really nice. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions about these effects, I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, just post them in the comments down below. And if you have suggestions or ideas for how we can improve things in our level, uh, be sure to let me know. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next week.